All right, the way this is going to work is uh, that we are going to take our time, the time that we uh, are going to let our timer go. So this is timer duration. The maximum time we are going to subtract from this the elapsed time, all right? So from the maximum time, we are going to subtract the time that has passed. And there we will get our um, time, re re remaining time, all right? Our rem remaining time. But before I do this, I wanna leave this into six seconds. No, sorry, 10 seconds. Okay, and I want what I want to do here is I just want to test if it's working the function right here. I want to test if this is going to work. All right, if uh, the time that has passed is more than the timer duration, which is 10 seconds, then it automatically should stop. Okay, and because right now it's very slow, I'm going to stop remote debugging because uh, when I have remote debugging, that's why it's, it's so um, slow. So let's try and let's see what happens. If I press the play button, I wait 10 seconds and let's see if it automatically will stop as it should, all right? Start. So let's wait just 10 seconds. I'm going to open this up. Sexy. And it did stop automatically. So it is working. So when the time that has passed reaches the time that the duration of the time, there is when we stop the timer. So it works. So let's change this to 500, 1500. So basically, what we'll have to do will be in presenter, right? Instead of doing this, right, we are going to say, Elapsed time, sorry, timer duration minus elapsed time. All right, so 1,500 seconds, which is the one we want. Let's say play, and it is working. It is uh, updating. It's adding one second to elapsed time, and we are subtracting from timer duration. So yes, it is working. The problem that is w with this is that it's not um, formatted the way we want to have it formatted, right? We don't have the format that we want. We have just like numbers on the screen. We have seconds, but we need to turn seconds into um, minutes and seconds. So to do this, what I want to do is I'm just going to, uh, I have this function and I'm gonna copy it because I did it before, because that one is a little bit complex. Always working with dates is complex, all right? So I'm not going to explain this. All you have to know is that I am going to do some stuff with the minutes, with the seconds, and at the end, what are we gonna get is we're gonna get a string with the um, data as we wanted. We're gonna have minutes and then seconds, all right? All right. So I say the let minutes mat floor time, but yes, and then I'm gonna subtract, subtract minutes, time times, time 60 from time. So now I have the hours and then the minutes, sorry. And then I will say seconds and I'm going to turn just to make sure time. And this is the operator in 10 and I will return a string. And this string will say if minutes is less than 10, then we have to return zero minutes. Or, or only minutes. And then this is with a colon and then seconds if seconds is less than 10 then i must return if the, uh, zero and the seconds this is because i want zero for example 
zero one like one minute zero one zero eight one minute and eight seconds i don't want just like one and eight i want the zero so that's what i'm doing here i'm just attaching the zero so if seconds or only seconds uh, let's see bunch of minutes math floor time yes time minus yes and then parsing the reminder of time zero time 60 if minutes less than 10 then i'm going to return zero and minutes or minutes only if seconds is less than 10 i'm going to return seconds yes or seconds only awesome so now our timer is still working we haven't done anything but we are going to change it i'm going to say format time and instead of doing this i'm going to give this number to my function format time and it just turned it into what the minutes should look like and we're gonna stop it yes we're gonna play oh wonderful all right this is it um try to read this by yourself and try to learn what it does especially this part is very interesting um really try to do it it's it's uh it's fun it's a fun um exercise that we don't have time to explain because this requires like uh you to know math uh, the math module of javascript and the reminder thing this one you'll find in code academy it's for free so i don't have to do it for you but just try and ask questions if you want to but it, this is this is basically what we did uh okay so thank you for watching that is redux for you just remember that basically Redux is where we store the logic and like the database of everything. As you can see, these are the actions. Here is that is what we fire. We want to change the the shape of the state, and these are these are the transformations that we apply. And that's it, people. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I uh, will see you in the full stack Instagram course where we are actually gonna build a lot of reducers not only one but many okay um to control the users to control the photos to control the forms to control the followers to control all these things we're gonna do it there so see you people thank you very much for watching bye bye